Hmm. Are we really gonna do this? Buster, what do you think? Let's give it a go. I decided I'm just gonna film, you know, a random day of my life. There's nothing in particular that I'm doing today that might be interesting or fun. You know, usually those are the type of videos I decide to do, but today we're just doing what I gotta do. So join along. bulls here about every other day and man am I ready for them to get out of here because they are hard to feed especially this one right here you just can't hardly feed him you just got to throw this stuff over and get in there and hope for the best this is the fun part I think the other bull doesn't know I'm here yet. So maybe we can sneak his feet in. He's gotten up. He's coming over here. So much. Now we just gotta take some feed to these bulls up here. We'll head back and get into something else. Of course, they don't know I'm here. So I guess I'm gonna dump the feed, make a round, call them up. It is super muddy right now. We actually planned on cutting some hay today, but storms last night said otherwise. Some pretty crazy storms too. But hey, at least the grass is growing, but the hay may be getting a little mature. That's just the way it goes usually. That should be enough to get them coming. Woo! Woo! They'll find their way eventually. Let's get out of here. Well, they actually decided to cross the water over here. Ah, forget it. Pretty much any free time I get right now, I'm trying to finish up our kitchen table. Got some barn wood from the place up in Oklahoma. I made a video on that, and I know some people were asking, I'd love to see what you made out of that, so that's kind of what I'm doing in my free time. It's been a long project but we're getting close to wrapping it up. Now, we got some fence to fix. The bulls have been fighting through the fences a lot. Man, we've had a lot of bulls getting out and, you know, it's that time. And honestly, 
you could probably spend all day fixing fence around here. We're just gonna get these wires tight here just so nothing else goes through. All right, on to the next thing. So I was coming back here to check the overflow of the pond because it's getting pretty bad, but that's a whole nother story. But there's usually a lot of snakes right here. We got a snake with a fish in its mouth. Right down here, he's trying to come up. Let's see if we can get a look. Man, he is devouring it right now as we speak. I don't know how good you could see that. Wish I had a zoom camera on me. But yep, he just finished it off. Handbuster's always dirty when we come back in, so. Always something with Buster. Now it's time to hook the old hay cutter up over there. I brought the tractor back from another place yesterday. Kinda got a bunch of stuff scattered out. We got the New Holland disc bind right here. It's ready to roll, but at any given time, she could go down. Something will break, you know. She's been through a lot. So I'm gonna hook the coon one up over there. And we gotta switch out some attachments and you know, that fun stuff. Kinda sucks not being able to leave the quick attach on because it's not really too quick at coming off. And of course, I left my wrench over there. So I'm gonna have to go grab it. I'm back. We're gonna need some bigger tools to get this off. You can see how it's off-centered on the hole. Those other bolts need to come farther out. This one is just ain't cutting it. All right, we're gonna hope this one fits. You gotta be kidding me. Instead of walking back, we're just gonna try to make it work. Finally got that on. My only problem here, you see how this is oriented towards that way? And the reason I'm hoping I don't have to come this way I really don't feel like moving this T-post here, all this hay. We kind of had a makeshift little calf pin right there, so that's why that's there. Let's just see what happens. Oh yeah, it's not that bad. I think I straightened it up a little bit. That should work. Okay, this part's getting very frustrating. Okay, that should have it. Finally got it over to the shop. And of course, all the hydraulic hoses are switched. They're all backwards. And the PTO shaft needs to be changed. Just, it wouldn't, wouldn't be right if, you know, we didn't have some fun stuff like that to do. Gotta start working on this thing.
It's always usually better to do this before you get hooked up so you can kind of sit right here. Sometimes you just got to find the right spot. Can't find my good uh, other pair of needle nose pliers. I kind of like those better when it comes to stuff like this. But we'll try to make this work. There we go. What a pain. Oh, it's one of those days. Out of grease on like the fourth go. Back in business. See, I really dislike greasing this thing. It doesn't have that many grease certs. They're just all kind of a pain. See, like this. You gotta have it positioned the right way. It is just a pain. Kinda nervous to see what the old blades look like. Hope they don't all need to be changed. Let's take a look. actually don't look that bad. I think I might have changed them last year and we just used the red one and not this one. Whew. But you see like this one right here, you have to kind of push it and extend it out to find the right spot. See, you gotta fiddle around till you get the right spot. So now I gotta go back in the tractor, extend it, till you finally get the right spot. This tractor actually has a few issues. Like, check out this mess going on right here. The piston for the steering column came out, or it didn't come out, it, I think it just went out, you know, lost its pressure. I've already replaced it before, you know, got to replace it again, it's kind of a long process, I don't even know if I'll bring you along that journey, because it's, it's kind of a big mess, just like this tractor floor is. So really it needs a lot of cleaning, clean the windows, replace that. But if I don't get to that, if I don't show it in this video, you know, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed a day in my life. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Got some good things coming. And that's a wrap.